on by cold look. Let me just change the voice channel here so everyone around me doesn't have to hear it. Okay, so um, I'm in the game um, Elder Scrolls Online, my favorite game. By the way, absolutely love this game. Both my brother and wife played this game with me along with some other friends. Um, but I've always loved Elder Scrolls. Anyways, I have multiple characters and I'm currently in right now as my Khajiit Nightblade. This cat character. Humanoid. Um, I have him set up to be a thief. I pretty much have him maxed out almost with his ability to sneak and not be seen um, and his ability to pit pocket people and to unlock chests and various things. Right now I'm in a very busy s city called Rothgar and you can go inside of all these buildings, castles and open up dressers and stuff which I'm gonna demonstrate but this character's really good at sneaking up on enemies, attacking them before they know what hit them and getting out. They call it ganking, if you're unfamiliar. But anyways, um, he's not my main guy I play with, but he definitely is my go-to guy when I need to make a little money. So let me show you something. If I go to my inventory, I have $1,000.59. That is not a lot of gold, by the way. There are characters people in this game that have so much money but I'm gonna demonstrate how you can make a little bit of money right now I just had barely finished going on a stealing run and which I'll repeat that and do that with you here in a minute but um, I'm gonna turn in my loot see in these underground secret lairs secret societies the outlaw refuge you can go like in the sewers like this It'll take a second and load here. But you can go in the sewers and launder or sell off your stolen items. And if there's any of those items you can keep, you can launder them and keep them in your inventory. Plus, whenever you're out thieving in this game, you always have a small chance of finding some really awesome stuff like uh, motifs, which are different designs you can craft in and whatnot. But anyway, see these outlaw refuges, they like to live in dark and have this secret society. So I'm currently underneath the city. Now see that symbol on the on the banner over there? That right there is the symbol for the you know you're safe to sell your goods to the people that bear that picture so I'm gonna go up to this guy stolen goods not so loud the law has ears everywhere now if you get caught or seen stealing then your bounty goes up right now I owe $69 to clear my bounty that's not a lot at all so I'll go ahead and pay it you do not have to pay it it's totally an option but if ever, and you'll maybe see in a bit, but if ever you walk by a guard and you have a bounty, they're going to either chase you down, take everything you stole, and make you pay a large fine, depending on how big it's built up, or they will actually um, just kill you, take your money and everything you stole. So you don't really want that to happen. I know you brought me something good. So I got the toggle option of selling or laundering. Um, I'm going to first look and see if there's anything I want to keep. And these are designs that you can use to um, decorate your house and whatnot. And I usually give them to my wife. She loves using them. Like this is a blueprint for a wardrobe. I'm going to launder that because I want to keep it. And these are items for crafting. I also have my character, this Khajiit, whose name is Tarza, um, as a provisioner. He's a maxed out provisioner. He can make good food that your character can consume, and then it actually powers them up. It's really important in this game to have food and lockpicks and stuff if you're going to steal. Now, see, all this is treasure that I can sell for a profit, and it shows you how much you'd get for it. So I'm going to sell all this. 
Now look up there where I have 949 gold. This is just off like five minutes of stealing, five, ten minutes of stealing. And I'm gonna make, keep that marker of 900. So I just made roughly a little over a thousand dollars in five minutes. And if I wasn't talking, it would have gone faster. But anyway, let's get out there and I'll actually show you how to thieve. I'll try to give you any tips I actually have. I love going to this city, Rothgar. You can see it in the center there, the name of it, how they spell it. It's a DLC area that they added. But it's just a really busy city with lots of shops. And so it's quickly become my favorite place to make money quick. Long load time here. Okay, before I get started, I want to show you a couple things. Here's my character. Better view of him. He rides a, a lion mount. Pretty cool. You can get around like this. Anyways, what I wanted to show you was, if you go to skills, if you're trying to become a thief or create a thief character, some of the best ones are Wood Elves or Khajiit, which is the cat humanoid person. If you put points into your medium armor, you have your character wear medium armor, look, you got increase your stamina. It costs a little bit of stamina every time you um, sneak, but right here, if you put two points into this, he's able to reduce the cost of sneak. Um, and movement speed. But anyway, so medium armor helps with that. Also, if you go here, you can actually see under this section, you can imp put f up to four points into the improved hiding. So my character currently has a 40% bonus in sneaking. And these other things make it so you don't have to pay as much if you get caught. Um, my chance of forcing locks is 70% 70, 70 higher than when I first started playing the game. And I can launder 180% more items. So you can only launder or steal and sell back or make money a certain amount of times a day. And I'm not even sure what how much it is, but I know I got 180% more chance of it. If you drop down to my Khajiit skills, and these are specific to being this cat race, you can actually see that you get um, health recovery and detection. It costs less, I mean, stamina and you're more stealthy. I got three points into that. Um, the other thing that helps me be a thief and not get caught, my guy literally is almost maxed out on being able to sneak right in between characters, go right by people without them seeing them. My other characters who are not maxed out as in sneaking ability, they get caught real easy. They get seen easy. Um, I could maybe show you a comparison sometimes. Okay. I was going to show you on my actual equipment. So you got my bow, my sword of air, my other sword. He's a dual wielder, I'll show you that. See, so he got two blades. Or his bow. His main weapon is his bow. Anyway, inventory. Okay, so this particular um, set right here called the... Where is it at? The Night Mother set. This. If you're wearing five pieces, and look, my jewelry is Night Mother. Or ring. Okay, so if you get five pieces, watch this. On the fifth 
piece that you have. So I'm wearing five, three jewelry, two, couple jewelry and some pieces. Look at the fifth one there. Reduces the radius you can be detected while sneaking by two meters. Reduce the cost of sneak by 25%. And it adds weapon critical. So that's a lot of the reason why my character can do this. So I duck down. Normally I would be seen. Now you see in the center of my screen it says hidden. Normally I'd be seen by now with another character. I have a 95% chance that just ticked there. 75. Depending on where you move to, you want to try to get it in that nice green area there. But as long as no one's looking at me, I have a 75% chance to steal. And see in the bottom left corner, I just still scented thing. Anyways, I just move around and sneak. Not getting caught at 100% chance. Boom, still stolen. And until I get caught, guards aren't even really watching for me. I just run around this busy city. Sneaking up. Look, this person's sitting on thin air. Some people you can't steal from. You'll see as you sneak up. So that's not really showing either. Oh, another thing that helps is anytime I need to go invisible, I have an ability that I press and I go invisible. Now I'm see. So for a short period, you can go, okay, too far away, 100% chance. Boom. I got a recipe. There was a bounce. See, I got caught there. Oh, that yeah. other guy saw me. The guard sees me. Or die, I can criminal. choose to do this clemency or not pay. I'm not going to pay, and I'm going to run. Has made That's another thing. You might want to up your running speed. Which my guy has been up. But you gotta be careful. If I run into another guard, then that guard will chase me. Okay. So I made it. I got away. Now, pickpocketing is what I've been showing you. Usually, that's really risky. You have a much higher chance of getting caught. But. Once you're leveled up, it goes pretty fast. So now I'm going to look for a door that I can um, go in and try to steal. So here's a shop. And you can steal or pit pocket from these people too. That's a salesperson. I'm going to go check out what's upstairs. Oh, by the way, I do not recommend being a thief in real life. Don't play this game as a thief and decide, oh, I'm a good thief. I'm going to go do this in real life. No, no. I'm totally not cool with thieving in real life. What you're looking for in these buildings, and I'm sorry I haven't seen any yet, is any type of drawers or cabinets. Um, see, look at this one. And it, and it shows red and it says steal from. Now see where it says hidden? If there's an eyeball, if you're standing, you're going to get caught. You're most likely going to get seen. If you duck down, that eyeball closes, and once it's closed, you're not being seen. If it's partially closed, you're also not being seen. It's just a little more risky. Now, one thing you got to get good at is you press X, and you can actually see what's in there. And you haven't actually stolen until you actually hit steal all or steal. Hit X again or um, square. What I normally do is get really fast at hitting it. And then hitting it again and stealing it. And it shows you in the corner what you've got. But I'll show you how to get really fast at it. I just quickly tap X and roll my finger right to square. And then you steal so fast. Because the less time you actually got your hand in the cookie jar, the better chance of um, not getting caught. So see this basket? See, I didn't even take time to find out 
what I was getting. But look, normally you could not sneak like I am right now and be this close to someone. That is a result of being leveled up in thieving. Now see this trunk right here? The guy still doesn't see me. Any of my other characters, including my wood elf who's not fully leveled yet, could not get that close without getting caught. Oh, one important thing. On my map, see, I have a little square marker right where the thieving guild is. I can either access the underground thieving area from here or here. And you see it says fence uh, outlaw. I always put a little marker right on top of the way where I got to go. So if I get caught, I can use my um, compass up above. And you can see that little square in the middle triangle diamond I mean I mark right where I want to get to in case I get caught and I need to run Don't forget to look at pots and urns and stuff on top of the fireplace. It's not always grandma's ashes in there. Sometimes there's good stuff. Right now, I'm not. I'm on a thieving run. I'm not really caring what I'm getting, but let me show you something. If, if, if it's got white lettering labeling, <laughs> then it's only worth you know anywhere from one to fifty bucks if it's green green lettering like you might have seen already there's backpacks then it's worth a hundred dollars when you sell it back if it is blue then it's worth 250 when you sell it back but you can also level up your laundering to where they actually pay you more Okay, so I always just do a combination of pickpocketing. You can even steal from the guards. I had a 95% chance. Now it's only 70. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, I got caught at that 25%. Now, if you're Defend in a temple, if you're in a building, if you're inside of a building and you get caught, now I got $92 bounty, and that would be a lot higher if I didn't level up my. Laundryman, you basically want to put a lot of leveling into this. So you got improved hiding, light fingers, increase your chances of pickpocketing, increase the number of amount of fencing or stealing you can do per day, improves your chance of forcing locks, and kickback. Now this little ability that makes me go invisible only lasts for one, two. About four seconds. But um, it's enough to make the guard like lose sight of you. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Now I have a bounty, so any guard sees me. I mean, I if I'm walking down the street and a guard sees me, they're gonna come after me. Because I ran from them rather than 
they give you the opportunity at first just to pay the gold and give hand back everything you've stolen but since we are working hard to work money make money you don't want to just give up your hard work so I run but just know that if you get caught and captured now that you ran they're gonna kill you take your gold and everything anyway Yes, it hurts when you fall off of high spots. Now, I know this is extra bad. I'm going to go inside of a temple and steal. I'm going to hell for sure. For sure. I usually just keep stealing for a while till I feel like I got enough stuff on me that I don't want to risk getting caught anymore. Or if you s happen to open a drawer. See, th okay, this is honestly what I love about thieving the most. You never know, and it's rare, but you never know what you're going to get. And sometimes you might get an item that is worth a lot of money. Oh, see now, stealing off of people while they're praying. I try to move around until I get that. Oh, I've been robbed. I got caught. And so even 75% chance is not quite good enough a lot of the time. It's all chance. It's basically gambling. Like, but see, sometimes if you're leveled up high enough, they're 100% chance. Now, that's 100% chance that that character that I just stole from isn't going to see me. But someone else, if I'm not paying attention, could be right behind me and actually see me do it. And then I'd be caught. Now, see, the longer you go without getting caught or doing, killing anyone or seeing your, now watch, I'll show you it. Now, I'm going to murder this guy. I don't recommend that either, but watch. Now, if someone saw that, my bounty would be way up. And I don't recommend doing it. Plus, I don't feel good about it. But it is kind of cool that they got that animation there. Okay, so urns. Oh, as I was saying, my favorite part about thieving is when you're opening these things, it's just cool that you have a chance. Of getting something gold or purple if you didn't know that okay white items are common maybe then next is online is like green things and if the lettering is blue then purple and then gold gold you rarely find purple is always a dang good find Oh, got caught. That was wrong, and it's against the law. Oh, I nearly died from that fall. See, my health slowly climbing back up. And since I jumped, and they'd have to come all the way down the stairs, they don't dare jump. I lost them. But I almost died. Man, I'm getting caught a lot. Sometimes these characters, when you steal from them, they get pissed and they chase you for like a, for a real long time. See, my bounty's up to 346. Now, if you turn off the game, like if I go turn in all everything I stole, turn off the game, that timer for till the money 
um, and they lose track of you actually keeps going so next time I log on I could switch characters go do something else with someone else or go live my actual life for a little bit and then come back and it's cool because that timer will have ticked off and uh, then you're you're not in trouble anymore I'm going to try to get into some actual houses or shops just real quick, and then I'll be done. I'll t take it back, see how much money we made. I don't want to make this video way too long. All right, so I'm going to make my way back towards where I'm going to turn this stuff in. I know these shops right here have good thieving in them, so I'll try to head there. Now, in the wide open like this, my chances of running into a guard are, are higher than when I'm inside of a house. There's a guard right there, see? If they see me, I'm gonna even get brave and try to steal from them. Did it, nice. I'm taking a 25% risk. Stop and level up my horse. Now sometimes these people just sitting on the ground are easy pickings. Some people it just won't say you can steal from them. Those are guards. I'm gonna walk right down the middle of them. I think I'll try to get into this house. Oh, that's a guard. Holy crap. So, any of my other characters that weren't Come leveled. Oh, further, gosh, I got caught. All right. Father, milk drinker. Looks like we're stuck in an animation here. Go no fa your compensation now. That's your last mistake. They're trying to kill me now. The guard. Now guards, their health is they're they're not meant to be killed. I think you can if you were like really powerful. They're not giving up. I know you say, well, hey, that's no fun. You're not fighting anything. Well, the guards you just can't kill pretty much. They're almost like unbeatable. But 
just since I'm out here in the wild, I'll actually show you a little bit of fighting. There's two enemies right here. Now this guy, he's all about being fast, and I got his stamina up high, um, pretty high, so that his damage is based off that. Okay, we got to get back in town and turn in our bounties. We now have a $600 price on our head, though. There's a guard. I don't know. It got risky. $700 now. Okay, so I am definitely going to try to get in. Put all our st stuff that we stole back. Try not to get caught. Look, here's the stable with some horses and bears. This video might be how not to thief instead of how to thief. But I'm confident in my skills to get away and that's what makes it me willing to take the risk. Because like, normally one of my other guys that isn't this fast, doesn't have this ability to sneak or go invisible, I would dare do what I'm doing. Anyways, I won't try to steal anymore. Let's just go turn this bad boy in and end this video. See how much money we made. Uh, I wanted to get in that shop still, though. I wanted to show you how these buildings like interconnect. Right, yeah, see these dressers are always got stuff to steal. And there's a jewelry box. Now in the shops, there's actually sometimes these little metal boxes. There's a guard. It's a guard. I'm going to go upstairs.
um, dressers, drawers and stuff tend to have the better stuff in them. Um, if you're looking for food items and stuff, you can actually steal from, uh, um, like baskets, any, pretty much anything you can put your crosshair on and it says steal, you could give it a try, see what you get. Sit here and warm by the fire. It's always creepy when you hear about those thieves that break in while people are sleeping and watch them. Creepy. Backpacks always have a chance to have something good in them. See, I'm going to town now, just... Oops, keep... Yeah, you get in a house like this that has just tons of cabinets, and you just go to town searching them. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how you make money fast. Is just You go into rooms like that, just loot the heck out of them. Since my guy's a provisioner, this is also a good way to get lots of food, rare um, food or food that you just wouldn't you fight, see elsewhere. They got a pattern. Crafting. I'd like to give those to my wife so she could decorate. Now lock picking. You see in the corner there, I have a 75% chance if I just press square to unlock it, but I usually wait till I'm about to not be able to open it. See, now I'm trespassing. This house is locked, so anybody in here sees me and they're gonna like yell for a guard. Oh, sure. Come on in. Now see, the games had the guy talking to me as if he saw me. 
but my indicator didn't say he did. See, this is the benefit of. I just pickpocketed that guy right under his nose. Oh, I got seen. What is this? A trespassers' convention? Now, if you kill people in cold blood and no one sees it, you have to get the um, Assassin's Blade from the Assassin's League quest. It's one of the first things they give you um, to be able to assassinate people like that. Again, I don't like doing it. I'd rather steal without it. But if you really wanted to, you could just kill these people. It's nothing perfect. Like so. Loot them. Be a really bad person. Or a cat humanoid and then you took out anyone that's potentially could see you and by doing so it makes it way easier to steal like if there's no one up here I can just walk around but I have morals people even though I just killed Some could argue that that's OP. Just kill everyone in the room. And then steal all you want. True. It probably actually might be. Can I help you? I'm mad enough to bite iron. It's time to get back. My bounty's still up around 700 bucks. Is this the one we were just in? And we are almost there to where we can turn in our stuff. And here we are back at the sewers. So I'll show you how much money we made. Then maybe as a little treat at the end, I'll take you to my house. My humble little nest. Um, I could show you, you know, what decorating items and stuff do. Or maybe I'll make, save that for another video. Let's just turn this stuff in and end this video.
Here's my friend. My partner in crime. Ah, my favorite customer. I'm not going to pay the gold because I'm going to log off as this character. So it'll just go away anyway. But here's the fence. So I need to see if there's anything I want to buy. And if you do, you want to toggle over to launder. So I want to launder this, 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 this recipe. This is all food items. Well, rocks for crafting. I'm going to launder all this food stuff. Might come in handy, even though I got tons of food. More than I know what to do with. Okay, the rest of this stuff is going to be all profit. So look, we have 1,742. Let's just start selling it. I mean, making... So we made roughly two thousand and a half dollars. Then I could go over to the banker, wherever they are. There's the banker, and I can deposit the gold into the bank. See, I already have ten thousand in there put the money in there. I like to leave a little bit on my character so he has traveling money. But see, by putting this money in the bank, I'm able to um, pick it up with any of my other characters. So then I'm going to go ahead and log out. And thanks for watching the video. It was a little longer than I hoped it would be. Um, appreciate you listening to me. Hopefully you like it. Go ahead and hit like or subscribe. I'm going to try to do more videos about different topics. Um, I could show off uh, my wife and I's housing. Do some gameplay, dungeons. Real quick, just to interest you, let me show you my characters. So you met Tarza. He's my thief, Nightblade. I use him if I want to be sneaky or make money stealing. Or if I feel like sneaking up on enemy players um, and trying to get a quick, easy kill. This guy, he's, he looks really awesome. He's currently retired. He's out of commission. I basically have all his skill points put into crafting. So he's my crafter. He can make clothing, armor... Um, swords, weapons, and he's maxed out at that stuff. So um, he's he's a high level crafter. This guy's only level seven. I haven't played with him much, but he's a vampire. Renix. He's a vampire. Uh, old man, dark sorcerer. This is one of my favorite guys. He's my tank. He doesn't put out as much damage as my other guys, but he can take way more damage, and that's kind of the role of the tank. He's a low-level guy. I haven't really played with him that much. I made him, but he's an Argonian, um, which is like a lizard-like, dragon-like race healer. So he has a restoration staff, and he, he'd be coming in to heal. And here's my newest character, um, he is, his name is Pix, he's a wood elf, he just barely got to level 50 a few days ago, which is the max level, then you work on light levels, but he is my main guy, and he's a warden, and I'll be playing with him, anyways, thanks, um, please enjoy other videos I might have in the future, or already have, and you take care, peace out.